all right so finally on the himalayan 450 sitting on it for the first time and uh, this is going to be the low seat in the standard uh, version the seat is set at the lowest position and i am able to completely flat foot both my feet on both the sides and my height is 57 58 so pretty comfortable so far ergonomics is upright totally upright and uh, yeah and it's a guided uh, test ride my friends uh, what's being provided here at motorverse it's a guided test ride and uh, it's a guided test ride where you have a lead and a sweep and all that and it's going to be a 15 minute uh, test ride uh, what's going to happen here and once we return back from the test ride i believe we need to uh, scan a qr code and uh, um, collect the magazine and if you are able to see the person there right over there in the black t-shirt he is the gentleman from the factory who does the stripe golden stripes on the bullet uh, tanks so that's the gentleman there Okay, let's fire up the engine and hear how it sounds. I'm not sure if you guys are able to hear because there are multiple bikes right behind which are roaring. Uh, so definitely by the feel of the engine, uh, it doesn't feel like a long stroke engine at all. It is definitely a short stroke engine or a, a sort of a squarish engine. It is a short stroke engine my friends, it is a short stroke engine but not uh, as much as the KTM but uh, somewhere uh, in between I would say. Alright, so so yeah this is the toggle switch here, you have the modes here, it's in the performance mode with ABS on which is uh, full power I guess. So. A toggle switch which toggles between all different types of uh, screens and all that okay yeah just trying to rev it a bit to see how the bike feels I think it definitely feeling uh, good and punchy and loads of torque on the bike so I'm just observing these uh, kind of weld marks here right so I'm not sure if this could have been any better I'm not sure if you're able to observe this here and it's different on that bike okay. right so the, the weld marks here are a bit different and uh, weld marks here are a bit different not sure is that got to do with the quality I'm not sure so Yeah, once we are back, uh, I'm going also going to do a short walk around of the bike and uh, show you guys around the bike. So at this point, uh, yeah, definitely looking forward to the test ride of the machine. Suspension is uh, nice and soft. Rear one and uh, forward suspension has got a very good uh, travel. I mean, the best travel what I've seen across the ADV bikes. As they rightly said, there's hardly any talk uh, at the low end, right? I think this bike had a fall, probably the handlebar is a bit bent. So 
this bike has had a fall handlebar is a bit bent and the gear lever is slightly inward uh, compared to the other bikes what I have ridden slightly inward not sure if I can do anything about this handlebar but yeah it's what it is now The gear shifts are slick and nice, so absolutely no problem jumping off the speed breakers. So it's nice and easy even to stand and uh, get off the speed breakers etc. But definitely my friends, uh, this is not the lightest motorcycle out there. So just for your uh, information, not the lightest motorcycle at all. So yes, you do feel that. Uh, 196 kgs but uh, yeah but the good thing is uh, you are able to flat foot on the bike so okay I'm not sure what rpm I am but uh, somewhere in between 4000 rpms I suppose but uh, I could really feel some buzz uh, on my footrest. I will not say that it's a vibration, but yes, uh, there is definitely some buzz uh, on the footrest. Horn again, yeah, regular horns, uh, what you get in most of the bikes. Uh, you might want to modify them or, you know, get a better horn, etc. But uh, yeah, that's what it is. Front suspension is good so far. It really takes uh, those uh, undulations and soaks it really well. Brakes are good. Both front and back. Brakes are quite good. Overall, I would say... Uh, it's a more comfortable motorcycle uh, as compared to the KTM 390 Adventure, definitely for sure, because the comfort levels are better and uh, it is soaking up uh, the bumps uh, well. I could relate uh, the comfort levels to that of uh, an X-Pulse. So these are the, this is the guided uh, trail, what they were talking about. So yeah, this was the batch one, which is coming back now from the test rides. Yeah. Yeah, I would say that the low end uh, is probably still better than a KTM but uh, really got to see how the mid range and uh, top end is on this bike so that is something uh, to check out for I think so you can go so yeah so this is the particular track what we are supposed to uh, follow go up and come back Alright. 
the handlebar is bent <laughs> handlebar is bent yeah it's slipping huh This handlebar is bent and is not giving me the confidence what I would have really uh, expected. But nevertheless, yeah, we're down the hill. The problem with the test ride bikes is always this, right? Uh, most of them are really, however new, they're like totally abused. They're totally abused and uh, and the experience what you get out of it is not really uh, great so we're supposed to go fast okay quite comfortable on the off-roads and undulations I would say but only thing is I wish I had got a better bike maybe I'll, I'll test ride it again uh, in case I'm buying one I will test ride one soon and then uh, take a call with respect to the with respect to the mid-range I haven't had a chance to test it out again but uh, maybe once I get a better road I'm going to test out the mid-range also and give you guys a view into that but when it comes to the mid-range uh, I think uh, 390 adventure sure does have a an edge over there not that this is weak on the mid-range it definitely has a very good talk on the Most of the power kicks in after you uh, cross the 2500 rpm, right? So that's what, uh, that's where this bike really comes into its own. But low down, yes. The torque is less, but uh, still better, still better. Handling is good. Feels nice and comfortable. just checking in if we should be taking a right or we should be going straight okay Yeah, brakes are good, really does a good job. My initial feel is of this particular bike, I think this is one bike which can be a great uh, city bike as well as a uh, touring bike as well as a bike for off-roading. I think uh, this can be that one bike if any of you are looking to you know consolidate your lineup or just keep one bike I think this can be that. This definitely can be that. nice and comfortable to stand and ride as well the gear shift special mention gear shifts uh, you know are butter smooth each gear right is butter smooth clutch is very light and soft uh, thanks to the slip assist what's provided so in terms of uh, mechanicals and uh, engine and uh, gear train the bike really comes across uh, 
quite uh, perfect i would say yeah so i think this one takes a lot of uh, right boxes for somebody who's looking for uh, an all rounder machine right but yeah it again depends at the price point what you are looking at right so there are other options in the price point so you'll need to obviously make a choice in terms of uh, the decision all right let's take a u turn and go back I found a place there homemade goan curry and rice I think mid range uh, is good on this bike definitely feels uh, smooth and nice to ride in the mid range rpms the fan kicked in to cool the engine okay let's uh, pull over stop the machine here and take a quick uh, walk around of the bike i think i put let me leave it in the first gear because it's a slope okay all right my friend so this is the bike in flesh so it doesn't have a tail lamp uh, tail lamp is integrated into the into these lights uh, as you can see tail lamp is integrated into these lights and it comes on so yeah it's a bit weird but i think uh, that's what it is uh, that's how the design is and uh, it's got a it's got uh, some very good brakes braking is good the rear suspension is very comfortable and really absorbs all the undulances uh, on the road uh, and off road engine quite tractable i would say uh, but below 2500 rpm don't expect too much like uh, the older himalayan but yes after that it really comes into its own and suspension front suspension is amazing the travel is good and uh, it soaks up the bumps really really well and uh, ergonomics and handling etc i think is really good for somebody who is looking for uh, an all rounder motorcycle so i think it's a good option but uh, at the price point yeah you need to think about it and uh, a lot of people commented and said that the the fit, fit and finish and the quality is uh, triumph like right so i wouldn't agree with that it is not a triumph like because i own a triumph uh bonneville t100 and uh, the kind of weld marks what i see here uh, here as you observe right 
so this is not something which i would expect uh, from uh, a triumph like uh, uh, build quality so yeah mostly it's there but uh, it's not close to triumph or it's not close to ktm in terms of build quality but yes it is better than uh, you know rest of them i would say i wouldn't want to name uh, other brands but uh, it's better than them and i think royal enfield typically has come a long way my friends so they've come quite a long way in terms of uh, getting to this uh, fit finish and uh, quality levels so so yeah that's what it is so that's a quick uh, summary of uh, my uh, initial ride impressions of this particular machine so i'm going to go back to the shed and uh, return the bike uh, here If you ask me if I'm going to buy this well since I already have a KTM 390 adventure in my garage uh, lineup so I'm going to think about it so I'm going to think about it and uh, make a decision <laughs> 